I was supposed to wash my brushes. I said I was gonna wash my brushes yesterday to do this video, and then I didn't do it. I watched um, Kitchen Nightmares for way too long. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I realized that I haven't made a video in like a year. Not like a year, I'm pretty sure it's been a year. But I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try to get back into it and um, review some palettes. So here I am with another quickie review. Today I want to talk to you guys about a palette that I've been a fan of for quite a while. I've had this palette for a long time and I've used it a few times. Uh, and that is the Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Now, they don't have this actual palette on the website anymore. They have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette which is a little bit different but not too much. The the main shades seem to be the same and then there's just like they have like as you can see all these shades seem to be the same in the palette. Just down here I think you have an extra shimmery white. So you have a shimmery white, black and a regular just uh, matte white. Uh, this one just has the matte black and this is I think that's a bit of a sheen white. So today I'm going to kind of do a little look, tell you guys how the colors work out. So this is originally priced on the BH Cosmetics website for $18, but it's always on sale. So right now it is $9, uh, which is why that makes this the uh, affordable palette of the week. I'm going to do a couple swatches uh, quickly and then I'm going to try to do a look on my eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because I haven't been doing a lot of colorful looks lately. This is a really versatile palette. You have these top three rows here are just like really bright colors. And then down here you do have a few neutral colors just kind of in this corner here. But they are all shimmers. So I'm going to see what I can do with this today and uh, let you guys know how it works out. So first I'm just going to do a couple of quick swatches. I'm going to do this bright pink up here because that is my favorite color. It is a matte. So check that out. I want to do this shimmery red. I'm going to do this green here and the purple. So as you can see, the mattes are a little, a little bit patchy. Uh, the shimmers are quite nice, but it's it's easier to produce a shimmer than a matte. And these uh, these two colors down here, just the white and the black, but they're pretty good. Um, you can really change up a look, make it a bit lighter, make it a bit darker. So it's a nice little addition to the palette. I don't really use them much unless I'm doing like, like a Halloween look. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm kind of stuck on where to start. Um, and I haven't really played with such a colorful palette in a long time. I think I'm gonna start with this um, kind of orangey yellow here and we'll start with that on the crease and see how that goes. I'm just gonna take that color and just kind of go in the crease. So actually I love this color. It's um it's coming out really nice. I won't lie, it's a little bit hard to pick up on the brush. I feel like it's really really heavily packed in there. Now I have primed my eyes, I don't really use an eyeshadow primer, I'll just kind of use a concealer to prime my eyes and it works just as good in my opinion. For those of you who actually watched my other videos, do you want to see Kai? He's all grown up. you all grown up! 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 Come here! Come here! Look! Oh! Grown up! Come here! Come closer! Go! All grown up! All grown up! All grown up! All right, so now I'm just gonna take this um, brush from, what is it, it's a Luxie brush. Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. It has a little bit of an angle to it. I'm really hoping there's no like leftover black eyeshadow or anything in this, but we'll find out when I put it on my face. I think I'm actually just gonna use this red to kind of darken up the corners. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with the red. I think I am going to go in with a little bit of black and maybe try to darken just the outer corner just a little bit. I'm a little nervous to do this. I'm going to try to go in with a little bit of black. You're so cute. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to 
tiny, tiny. You think I look good? Yeah, you look good. Aw. Ah, I got a tiny, 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 okay. tiny little bit of black. What's that? And I'm gonna try to just, just, just. I'm just using kind of a stippling motion just because I want to see I just want to darken it up just a tiny bit just on the lid here in the corner so that's all right that's okay we'll live with it I'm gonna take um, a little bit of that first yellow color that I used and just blend it under my A and then I'm gonna take a bit of the red as well the one that I used on the outer corner and take a tiny little bit of that and just place it underneath just in the middle of my lower lash line and I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit wipe off the brush I'm just gonna take a flat brush and put a little bit of shimmer on my eyelid I'm gonna go in with a bit of this um, this color okay so this is the look uh, just with the eyeshadow uh, a you can get a kind of everyday look out of this palette, but there's also a, a lot of colors to do something fun if you want to. Anyways, I'm gonna slap on some eyeliner and some mascara and give you my final reviews on this palette. So for the price, I think this palette is really, really amazing. You have so much freedom to do so many looks. I would recommend that if you do buy this, you, you have a bit of patience. Uh, some of the colors, like this yellow that I used, are very, very difficult to pick up on the brush at first. Again, maybe I would use this alongside with um, a neutral palette, but for $9, this is really fun to have. But like I was saying before, they did come out with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, the one that's, um, so it kind of, it, it looks kind of the same, but maybe in the newer version they've kind of corrected the formula a bit. I would have to buy it and test it out and let you know, but maybe they've corrected some of the formulas. These all seem to be the same shades, just it's a bit different at the bottom. If you do buy this palette or the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, you might be getting a bit of a different formula and I mean, they probably improved it. I think this one would best be used for costume makeup. Uh, and that's usually what I actually use this for. I use this when it's like Halloween. I used it when I went to um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I do reach for it. I do reach for it. When I, when, I'm, when I have to go out somewhere and I have to dress up kind of like in a costume, choice is really up to you, but for $9, I don't really think you can go too wrong. It's worth, it's worth a try. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, share with your friends. I hope to see you on my next video. Check out some of my older videos and have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. And do a couple squatch, squatch. Move, move it in. Oh, and in. not that much. I gotta make. The, there's a hair directly on my iris. Ah! I go in with a little bit, little. Uh, <laughs> you are not the star of this show. <laughs> I saw you. This might screw up the entire look, but... Are you growling?